Greetings and welcome to Planet Coaster. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I've been enjoying this game so much I wanted to share it with you. Um, I started off with a career, and we started with Captain's Lockjaw's Buried Treasure. And uh, I did the first two scenarios on my own, but I was just enjoying it so much, I thought, no, you know, I need to record the next one, which is Pirate Cove. So I thought um, I would basically record this in longer episodes because this is kind of a more sim building game and there's a lot of stuff going on so okay here is our scenario pirate cove former pirate turned entrepreneur pegleg pete appears to be struggling somewhat his lone adult park is incomplete and lacking in fun if only he could remember where he buried his treasure it was around here somewhere Take the helm and turn things around before this ship capsizes. All right, let's pause here because it sounds like we don't have anything making money. All right, this is the entrance. I do love the entrances. They're really cool. And the graphics are just so fun. And the people are cute. And they, they smile and they do things and they walk around and they get excited. I have seen some of the most charming and memorable moments in this game. It's just amazingly cool. Okay, so here are our objectives. Um, easy goal is to reach a monthly profit of $1,000 and attract 600 guests. We have 117 at the moment. Medium, build a coaster and a monthly profit of 2,000. Hard, pay off all loans and reach a profit of $4,000 a month. Um, so <clears throat> we, of course, are always going to go for the harder goals because it's more fun that way. So this is a, a, um, a structure, basically, which has two different stores in it. There's Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. And if you click on each one, it will tell you the thoughts and how much money they're making. Not Nothing right now because I have the simulation paused. Um, so anyway, I think this is a really nice little courtyard here. So what's in this building? Is there anything? Aha, there's an ATM machine there. And then this building has toilets. Let's see the sign on the door. Uh, let's see what else we've got. These are, these buildings are just decorative, which is nice. Um, let's see, here's another, looks like food, chief beef and cosmic cow. What have we got up this path? Oh my God, coming soon, TM, right? <laughs> okay, so it's giving us options of where we want to place things. Of course, any of this stuff can be destroyed and rebuilt. Um, there's more coming soon. So what have we got down here? Oh, we have a nice little path coming down, more decorations. The decorations in this game are just wonderful. Um, and there are all kinds of effects that they have. And uh, see the fire kind of, you know, burns and oh this is very fun look at this I love this cave <gasps> there's the treasure hey should we sell it these things are worth ten thousand uh, dollars most of the the um, things when you uh, oh see missed large shipwreck bow there's all kinds of different things that you can have here um, yeah you know what we could use it we only have six thousand dollars at the moment so let's sell it. Most of the props cost like $50 to place down. So $10,000 treasure is awesome. Okay, so it gave us $7,500. Obviously, there's a, a penalty for selling decorations. Um, you know, you can never return them back for what they were worth. So what have we got over here? Looks like a nice dock. This, this, uh, this must be like a cove that's emptied from the tide because you can see that we have seaweed hanging off there. Um, wow, this is so cool. This is going to be a roller coaster. And uh, obviously it goes nowhere for the moment. So we're going to have to fix that. Um, first thing I'd like to do, though, is I do like to set up some quick rides here is an awesome space to have just a regular ride going on. Oh, staff only door. That's kind of a cool little building. Um, okay, so let's just start off with a regular ride, something that's exciting. So this has 5.49 excitement uh, victory. That's a cool one because it's a ship uh, shape. But I want to, should I go for better excitement? Maybe kick and flip. What does that look like? Oh. It's one of these looking things. I could actually fit two in this area if I wanted to. Though this whole thing seems really designed for this ship thing. Okay, so let's rotate this a bit. Uh, does it fit? That's the question, really. Um, no. 
it's too big. Okay, so that changes our <laughs> our plan for that. So let's put um, this kickflip somewhere, maybe here, or okay, let's put it this way. I just kind of make create this centerpiece for it. It is yeah, excitement of four point four five, so that's pretty darn high. Um, okay, just place it down, and we'll put our entrance probably over here so we can form a decent length of a queue and then the exit of course is not going to be uh, I always like to put the exit clear or near to the paths okay so let's just get that going okay so let's connect the entrance to a path what kind of paths do we want I think we should use the um, the wooden cues because it's kind of I don't know it's kind of more fun in terms of the pirate theme I think Okay, so what I'm doing is I am, I want a curved queue so it looks nice. There we go. I do like organic shapes in this game. It's really, really wonderful in terms of shapes. Okay, so one of the things that's important is the scenery rating for the queue. Um, the hints tell us that the higher this rating is, uh, the more money we can charge for our rides. So let's get that number up if we possibly can. I don't know if we can have both of these windows at the same time but we could use some nice uh, maybe props yeah so let's put a an anchor over here that's always a nice sign of uh, piratiness there's cargo there's a cannon um <laughs> do we want this to be pirates here or we can have redcoats standing here this is always fun to put a uh, cannon kind of shooting over the visitors heads like this Okay, and then I can put a guy behind it who's actually doing the shooting. Pirate lookout. Hmm. No, I. there's a red coat in here that uh, he looks pretty darn good next to a cannon. So we can all pretend we're pirates here. Okay. Okay, we'll shove him there. Okay, and what else shall we put down? We've got uh, fences, we have a nice entrance, whalebone arch, or a whalebone lantern arch. Okay, let's just put this whalebone arch here. Make sure it's sitting on the ground because sometimes these things like to be above the ground slightly. So we'll put some barrels up. Oh, okay. Shove those down there. Oh, and I should turn on this uh, thing so we can start attracting guests. Okay, we're now at 100% uh, scenery happiness, but I still like to decorate just a little bit because it looks nice. Uh, right, so we have a barrel planter. What else? We could have dr driftwood branches. Uh, I'm really actually very, very fond of the, uh, the trees and stuff in this game. They're really, really cool. Of course, we can always have, you know, fun stuff like shipwreck sterns shoved up here and now oh, that might be fun um, I don't think we can fit another ride so we might as well just shove that there okay cool and nature let's get some bushes out here oh, no 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 this is not what I wanted I wanted rotate that's what I wanted and give him a little bit of cover Aligned to surface. Okay, so he can feel like he's a little bit hidden here. Nice. Okay, cool. And then these stones are just marvelous. I think they're very, very fun. The stone. Oops, no, no, no. I think we can come back and decorate a little bit more later um, just because I want to get some more profit happening in our um, our nice little uh, place here okay one of the things that I like to be very careful about is um, okay can we put this inside here so it looks like it's kind of like overgrown in there I don't want to put seaweed because that doesn't make any sense one of the things that I like to be careful about is using plants that kind of match 
where you're at. Oh my gosh, we have a total lack of bushes here. Um, that is pretty much because of research. So let's get maybe a little bit of research started. Oh my god, the sounds on this thing. Not that fond of this uh, musical selection. But that's okay, we won't hang around here for too long. Uh, let's just make sure we can um, pay for the ride. Okay, so we have potential monthly income, 306, and that's not totally full yet because we don't have a full queue. Usually when people start lining up, it will give us a better indication of exactly how much we can generate per month, but I think it's still low. So let's charge maybe 15 and see if people still keep coming in the queue. We have a little bit of a... Uh, it's an issue here with the scenery. So let's get this wall piece. Um, wow, can I delete that? Oh, there we go. I wonder if I can stretch this out or... Let's see. Let's duplicate this. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. And these people, we need to figure out what they are... They are turned away, and we don't know why. Let's ask them. Oh, it's too expensive. Okay, so we need to lower the cost on this to, let's try uh, $12 and see if people are happier with that. So let's speed up the, the sim and see if they're going to go for that. Uh, so yeah, people are going in at $12. Okay, so at least we're going to make a profit. That's the important bit. Okay, good. So... We need to research more decorations because we do not have enough bushes for my taste, for sure. So let's see if we can do that. Let's get our manage park management and see. I'm going to go back to... Let's go away from this ride because it's really annoyingly sounding. I guess I could change the, the music, but I don't know all the songs yet. All right, so let's start research on... Huh. Desert flora, grassland, typical park flora. Oh gosh, I don't want either of those. I want, like, jungle flora. Um, okay, we'll do this one. And, hmm, thrill ride. Oh, that sounds very nice. Yeah, let's go for that. I don't want to start too much research because obviously we still have, we have monetary problems here. So let's see what our finances are looking like. Okay. So we are having a very, very tiny profit. So let's get another ride made. Maybe here is actually a really good spot. So put a something over here. So wild blue or hmm, nation carousel or victory. I really want to put this ship down, but I, <laughs> I'm not finding a space that's proper. No. This might be a, an okay one. Um, Roctopus. This one holds a lot of people in it, which is nice. Why? Why you not work thing? Why? You, okay. It's there's, it's the scenery objects perhaps here. Oh, here's a nice spot as well. Uh, that's a really nice spot. That doesn't still doesn't fit over there. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna put the ship over here. I'm gonna put the ship here. And let's turn it around <clears throat> so that it faces like this way. I think that'll be... You know what? I'm going to turn it facing the other way. So we can see the back of the ship and it's going to look nice. Um, but the entrance is here and I want the queue to be next to the entrance. Uh, so that it doesn't take people long to get off this thing. Uh, and we can change up our... Um, our guests in here much more quickly uh, because what happens is it takes time for these guys to come in the entrance go on the ship do all this stuff um, so we want to have just for um, ease and friendliness here we, we need to have these things going uh, more smoothly shorten the conveyor belts I don't know if anyone's watched my Factorio series but this is basically the thing we want to be a little bit more convenient Okay, so let's get our entrance path here. So does it tell me how many people can ride at the same time? No. 
I'm gonna make this like five dollars for now. Um, no, it does not say. That's always one of the things that um, I liked about uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. If anyone's played that series, it's sort of the old school version of this. Uh, is that they had, they told you how many people could go on the ride at once, which I thought was really cool because um, basically you want to build your queues such that you don't want to have too many people in line because, you know, all those people could be in other parts of the park having fun, doing things. Okay, so let's open this ride up. And... Um, what about the colors? The colors are horrendous on this thing. Brown, brown, and more brown. How nice. There's, it's sort of brown colored. Uh, no, I want, I want the... Can I make the base brown? Come on, thing. Show me. I cannot make the base. I cannot make the base the color I really want it to be. Okay. And... What is this again? Okay, that's that. That can be red. Um, so this is, these are the struts. Stabilizing thingies. I want to change the color of the ship itself because it's looking quite... There we go. The ship is looking quite dull. Uh, what is this? Let's see. Oh, that's the, um, that's those? Really? Okay, it's just the thingies in the middle of those. All right. Do that. And then the brown thing, green. Okay, that's just those nice little rings over here. Okay, that's fine. Um, does it tell us... Okay, so that's good. We're happy about this. We just need people to ride it now. Uh, and there's nowhere else I can change the color of the ship. I guess not. So it's just sort of destined to be this dull, very dull looking brown color, uh, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. I'm gonna improve this path so it's not uh, this, this is a nature style path, but I actually prefer the, um, the pretty stuff. We'll leave the coming soon right over there. So what is our queue? thingy looking like 12%. That is dreadful. So let us go ahead and uh, adorn the queue with better stuff and things. Okay, let's do this. I kind of like it when the bushes kind of overlap a little bit, the walkway. Uh, and of course, I like to rotate the stuff so it doesn't look so repetitive. I'm kind of um, disappointed we don't have more of the, the bushes that I like. Okay, it's obstructed. Okay, great. Beach bushes. These are funky, these beach bushes. Okay, we got new music coming on here. Very interesting. Okay. Swamp trees. Ugh, those are horrible looking. down. Okay. Shove this one here. Okay. And a banana tree. Yes, let's have a banana tree. Okay, so we can hide some some nice little animatronics or props in here. Let's see, we've got lights, animatronics. There we go, we can do our angry pirate shooting somebody. Maybe a, a red coat, thinking? You stand there and we need a red coat over here. Oops. Point him in the direction of the pirate. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so these guys can be Exploding wooden barrel. What was that? Okay, so this is. I'm gonna shove that over there, maybe. Okay, so people are really starting to fill out this area. 
while we're there, let's put a uh, the pirate band to entertain people in front of this uh, ship. That could be fun for them to look at. Man, we have not a lot of options here. Darn a lot of seaweed, that's for sure. Okay, so maybe give these guys some cover. Do we have any short bushes? Not really. Try that there. Oh, that, that's not that great there. I'm not really happy about that at all. Um, what about a rock? Oh gosh, that's, that one's too big. <laughs> so, if we do this, it's almost like he could be like hiding behind that rock, sort of. You know, pirate has better... Yeah. Anyway, so we're up to 52% on the scenery. I think that's pretty good. So, the queue looks fast. People are happy about this. And the queue was quite quick. So... There are a ton of people on this ride, so I think that's a good good sign. Uh, let's raise the ticket price to maybe $7. Can we get away with that? Let's see, because we definitely need the monthly income greater than the monthly expenses. Otherwise, we're going to be in big, big trouble. So let's see. Are any thoughts? How are you? What are you guys thinking? Whoa, they were not happy about this. Can't even line up. Okay, so this is an issue of not enough space in the queue. So let's see how far this queue progresses. Uh, and also about the pricing. I really want to know. So, okay, so this is how queuing works. Um, all of these people have to leave. They've got to get out of the entrance. Um, so, or the exit, I should say. So if you put the exit somewhere like over here, it's going to take them forever to walk around that way. So I like to put it nearest the stairs to the ride. Because only when this gate closes, that's when this gate will open. See there, gate closed, this gate opens. So I think it's really important for the efficiency of the park to have your entrances and exits placed properly nicely. Okay, so let's see how much of this queue gets processed. Uh, one of the funky things uh, that I think is pretty cool in this game is that there are families or group uh, parties and say if you have a log flume with five seats but your family has only two people in it, you will take one log for those two people. Um, so, you know, you gotta keep that in mind. You may not fill out all the seats uh, in a ride. Okay, so what are we thinking now, guys? Are we happy with the price? I think we can raise it. I think, let's go for $9. See what people think about that. Move it faster, faster, faster. Nope, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. No. You guys, you guys were thinking about it. No, maybe not. Costs more than it should. Okay, so they're not happy with $9. What about $8? Are they gonna like that? Come on. Walk, walk, walk. Okay, $8 looks like okay. So let's leave it at 8 for now. And looks like our potential monthly income is pretty darn decent for this. Uh, we may come back, I think I'll come back and add more uh, bushes and, and bits and things once we have uh, more research done in that case. So uh, let's see what else we can build. Um, we can get started on our, um, well, a couple of things. Let's look what kind of shops we have. So we have uh, burger bars uh, of different kinds. And then we've got some drink shops. Do we have gifts? No, not yet. We have restrooms. We have no nothing else. ATMs we do have, which is nice. No information, no tick booth. And yeah, okay. So we don't have a lot. Some of this is definitely going to be unlocked through research. And um, we'll see when we get that. Let's see what we can fit in this nice little area. I like to start a park with kind of just various small rides that I know I can count on while I spend more time building a large uh, type of uh, a coaster or something because that requires testing and it requires a lot of money. So the octopus ride would be really good here, I think. So let's put it here. Okay, and the entrance I'll have over here. Or I could have it over here. Uh, no, I'll put it this way. So basically that we have, um, it's going to go around this way to connect with the main road. And we'll put the exit over here, which is going to be nice. 
All right, so let's get our entrance organized. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay, great. Okay, yeah, the, the scenery rating is abysmal at the moment. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put scenery up. I'm going to get some of these things going. And then going to basically adjust the price from there. What is this, a beech tree? Oh, there are beech beech trees. Okay, I thought they were. Haha. <laughs> B E E C H. I did not read it initially. Oops, not what I want. Z. I think Z and Shift should be oh, switched, maybe. I might do that. Alright, there we go. Oh, yes, all the scariness is happening here, for sure. Okay. These nice bushes going on. Um, Scaviola, fine. And I like the way that you can intersect the decorations basically so that they, you know, they appear like real stuff. Like they don't have to be in each individual tile or whatever. Um, I, I love that, that feature. It's really cool. So that it looks really a lot more natural. Uh, than other stuff, and I feel I feel kind of bad even saying that because um, <laughs> at the moment we have so few bushes. I feel like I'm putting the same decorations around each thing, but it's important to have that ability to increase the price of the of the queue. So we will come back to these places and and build um, better stuff. Oh, no topiaries at all. Whoa. Okay, so how are we happy with this queue? Are we? Wow, it's only at 25%. That is awful. I, I don't know the, um, the exact, um, what do you call it? The sort of area of influence of, oh, we could have a tentacle sticking out. Whoa. See, we could have just like a tentacle. But whoa, that's pretty interesting. Whoa. <laughs> That's very funny. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, I don't know how close stuff has to be to affect the queue. That's my my major concern. Okay, let's put this mast here. That looks pretty good. Nautical archway. That's an that's too big. Too big of an archway. So yeah, I don't know how far they look down down the road or whatever. Pirate munitions. We can shove that in there. Maybe have a pirate lookout over here on this rock. That'd be nice, actually. Okay, there we go. It's looking pretty decent there. Okay, and pirate cover shot. Yes, let's have him. We could have him shooting across the queue. That might be fun. Maybe a red coat guarding this thing. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. He's like not even looking. That'll be good. So he's shooting that guy. Okay, we'll put a lantern maybe here. And here. Oh, no, no. I don't. Oh, actually, it's okay on top of the queue, isn't it? It's all right. Why not? I'll put some on this side of the queue as well. Oh. That's sort of floating above the queue, isn't it? Um, yeah, we can we can put that down actually. This one, so you can edit the height of these things. Whoops. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted actually. Uh, and use whatever arrow is useful for you, and then click the build by thing. I'll leave that one off uh, for now. Wait, is that on the ground? Sometimes it's hard to tell. <laughs> so you have to sort of wiggle your camera about just to make sure that it's, you know, it it's on a surface. Okay, and I'm not sure, because I have the, the thing set for snap to surface, but it just, sometimes it does this. And archways are famous for this, uh, apparently. They always end up above the ground. Okay, so that's looking really nice right there, I think. 
Right, well, 59%. Okay, you know what? I'm going to wait until I have more stuff. And then I shall decorate you more thing. It'll be good. So, um, let's get some money going in here. Let's, let's put this at like $6 for now and see if people are happy to come. Okay. Yeah. They're all coming in. What about $7? Okay. Too expensive at $7. What about six fifty? Oh wait, there are people coming in at $7. But what about... Yeah, okay, I'm going to leave it at $7 um, because there are people actually coming in at the moment and that should make us a bit happier. So let's see what this ride is going to generate per month for us. Okay. There it goes. Wild with all the bubbles going everywhere. I wonder if I should change... No, I want blue, I think. What's the gray? Gray is... Oh, the arms. Yes, let's have it be... I don't know, a different color? A blue of the ocean, perhaps. Um, and then this one can be... The arms... It's a little bit sinister with the green, doesn't it? Okay, so we'll go with green. Okay, and then let's look at... The... Money again. Okay, it's only making 469, so that's not a lot. Um, that's not great. That is really not great. So we definitely need to get. Let's see if we can increase it anyway to like eight dollars. Are people going to come in still at eight dollars? They're like walking away. It's like no, sorry. What about um seven. Okay, we could do it at seven eighty. You could definitely fine-tune these things. Okay, there's people coming in at 780. Okay, and that, that gives... Okay, there's much better monthly income right there. Okay, well, we have come to our time limit for this episode, unfortunately. But I think we made a really, really nice start to our park. Um, I think one of the things that I want to do is actually add lights to the walkways and stuff. So there's a few lamps here, but we need to continue that theme onward uh, into these sort of heretofore uh, unexplored places uh, that the, the game didn't provide them, so we're going to add sort of along that theme. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Sky. Take care of yourselves and each other. I'll see you next time.